hello and welcome to house of commerce hope you all are doing well so in today's video we are going to discuss about 10 of the mcqs regarding cost accounting so if you want to solve this so you get to see the first lecture of cost accounting and the other ones as well which links are given in the description so let us start with number one revenue minus all direct costing of making the goods or supplying the services is known as a gross profit b cost of sales c expenses and d net profit i repeat revenue minus all direct expenses of making the goods or supplying the services is known as a gross profit b cost of sales c expenses and d net profit now let's move forward to the answer so the right answer is cross profit why it is so because gross profit is purely that profit which we earn by selling our goods or services which are the main business of the company cost of sales means only the cost of those goods which are sold and expenses means those exp those assets which are expired or damaged or whatever they are obsolete from the company and net profit means all the expenses related to the factory either they are direct or not not so they are indirect or direct expenses therefore the gross profit is only the profit which is derived purely from the direct items which are saleable by the company now let's move forward to the second one during costing process to arrive at the gross profit of a trading business which one of the following formula is applied a sales minus opening stock minus purchases minus closing stock b sales minus opening stock plus purchases plus closing stock sales minus opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock and d sales minus opening stock minus purchases plus closing stock so let's move forward to the answer and the right answer is sales minus bracket open opening plus purchases minus closing stock and bracket closed because opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock is the formula of cost of sales so by subtracting sales minus cost of sales we'll get the cross profit now let's move forward to the third one direct expenses are carriage inward b carriage out, uh, outward c carriage outward and d both a and c now let's move forward to the answer answer is carriage inward why it is so because carriage outward means the carriage which is taken from the factory to the market but this does not contribute anything to the cost of product therefore we do not add it into the cost of purchases but carriage inward is the item which is added to the cost of which is added to the cost of production on number four net purchase is equal to invoice amount and a plus freight in plus discount b less purchase return plus purchase allowance c plus freight in less purchase discount d per plus discount less purchase return so the right answer what do you think about it let's move to the answer so it is c plus freight in less purchase discount why it is so because we have already discussed that freight in is a direct expense so we have to add it into the purchase price and purchase discount is a contra expense so we have to deduct it for getting the net purchases because it is deducted from the total cost of purchases then moving forward to the fifth one cost of goods sold is classified in which type of account a asset b liability c revenue d expense i repeat a asset b liability c revenue 
and D expenses. Now let's move forward to the answer. So the right answer is expense. Because we have already discussed it into our first lecture, our very first lecture, which the uh, link is given into the description, that it is a universal rule that you have to deduct your expenses from your revenues. Therefore, you have to deduct cost of sales from revenue. And the, this is the reason the why cost of sales is classified as expense. Now let's move over to the sixth. Consider the following information for costing purpose. Sales 80,000, opening stock 10,000, net purchases 45 and cost of goods sold is 50. Determine the value of ending merchandise inventory. So how would we get it? As we have discussed it into the second or third one MCQ that the formula of cost of goods sold is opening plus purchases and minus ending inventory. So we have to add opening plus purchases and we have to deduct the cost of goods sold. So what answer we will get? We'll get 5000. Why is so? Because 10,000 plus 45,000 and minus 5000 shall be the cost of goods sold and as the cost of goods sold is 50,000 therefore the ending inventory shall be 5000. Now let's move forward to the seventh one. Which of the following would not consider it a com component of cost of goods sold? Sales for salaries, transportation for purchase, import duties or raw material, factory electricity expense. Let's move forward to the answer. So the right answer is sales for salaries. Whosoever does not know about it, the link is given down in the description. Go and watch the lecture so you will understand that all the things which contribute anything to the purchase of the product till the operating operations of the machine or asset, those all costs are added to the product price. Therefore, transportation would contribute into the purchase, import duties or raw material shall contribute all as well if the asset is imported factory electricity expense is indirectly involved in the production therefore sales for salaries sales department does not contribute in manufacturing the asset or purchasing the asset therefore the sales salaries shall not be added into the cost of production let's move over to the eighth one which of the following is used to determine the cost of goods sold beginning inventory plus purchases beginning inventory plus purchases minus sales beginning inventory plus net purchases plus direct expenses minus ending inventory ending inventory plus purchases minus beginning inventory so let's move forward to the answer the right answer is beginning inventory plus purchases plus direct expenses and minus ending inventory we have discussed it before as well that the goods cost of goods sold the goods which are sold because the opening inventory which we had from last year last period plus the net purchases which we purchased this time plus all the direct expenses related to the purchases minus the ending inventory which is left over at the end of the year or period so whatever inventory number nine which of the following would not be considered as a component of cost of stock a salaries to the selling staff b transportation inward cost c import duties and d purchase price so the right answer is salaries of selling staff because we already discussed it that selling staff does not contribute a single thing towards the production of an asset or to the purchase of an asset therefore it shall not be added to the cost of a stock now let's move forward to the 10th one. As a costing team member, calculate the gross profit if the sales is 6,000, cost of sales is 5,000, opening stock is 1,000, purchases is 4,000, wages 2,000, and office rent 1,000. Now the options are A. 
loss of 2500 b loss of 1500 c profit of 2500 and d is profit of 1000 now let's move forward to the answer now do remember one thing that he said about the gross profit and we already discussed it that gross profit is equal to sales minus cost of sales so as the sales is 6000 and cost of sales is 5000 therefore we'll get the gross profit of 1000 so this was all for today's lecture and i hope you all enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video just click the notification bell and turn on the notification so that you may not miss any other video of our channel so that was all thank you for watching